Welcome guys back to my channel. So I am super excited because Wet n Wild released their 2021 collection and I was just in Walmart yesterday and just saw it and I'm like, what? So apparently this collection though been out for a while. It's been out since I think December, like around Christmas time. Like I think it was around Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So people were uploading already that I saw, um, but not too many people. I think I saw like maybe three or four videos on this collection. So it's very new. Um, and I just saw it in my Walmart yesterday and I was snatching everything almost. So if you guys want to know how I got this cute, subtle, glowy, like just healthy look, keep on watching. We are going to be testing out all these products and seeing what's new. So I will have all the prices down below at the bottom of the screen somewhere for you. So the first thing from Wet n Wild that I noticed that was new is their Tinted Hydrator. And this is from their Bare Focus line. So it's a little bit more natural. As you know, a lot of brands are coming out with more like CC creams and tinted moisturizers and just approaching more of the natural beauty side. Um, so you're not going to get full coverage out of this. On the bottom here, it does say sheer to medium coverage. This does have hyaluronic acid um, and squalene, so it's supposed to be super moisturizing to the skin. I already prepped my skin, so I already did my skincare, so I'm not going to apply a primer. We are just going to go right in with this. It says this oil-free perfector delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint for a flawless, softly luminous complexion. Hyaluronic acid and plant de derived squalene helps promote healthy looking supple moisturized skin. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and this is in the shade, I don't know if I mentioned medium tan. Um, I was gonna get light medium, but I didn't know that was gonna be too light. And because this is kind of like sheer, I didn't think it was gonna be like, you know, a big deal if it was going to be a little bit too dark. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. So a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to add some to my neck because I added a little bit too much to my hands the second time around. It's blending in really, really good. Um, as you can see, it does add some coverage. Like I said, it's not full covered. So far, so good. All right, so, so far, so good. I think the match, the shade match is pretty, pretty good to my skin tone. Um, it's a little bit obviously tanner than my actual skin on my face, but my face is, is lighter. My face is lighter than my body. So the match is like basically perfect. So again, this is um, medium tan and it really does add just like a nice glowy like complexion um it's a little sticky most tinted moisturizers are um so if you don't like that stickiness you can just go over it with a quick powder um but for the most part like i really like this i would wear it on its own like the stickiness isn't severe um and it does like cover majority of like your redness and stuff um and since it says sheer to medium i'm sure you can like kind of build it up but i'm just gonna leave it there for now the next thing that i picked up is from their mega last line and this is their incognito um full coverage concealer so i got the shade light medium all right so this is supposed to be full coverage so let's see i am super excited to be testing out this new collection i had no idea oh my god that's thick um, I had no idea that this was coming out. Like I was in Walmart and I was like, does Elf have a 2021 collection out right now? Like what in the world? How did I not know this was coming out? Um, smell. There's, there's, there's a slight fragrance, but it's not strong at all. Same thing with the tinted moisturizer. There's no like high extreme fragrance like their first foundation. I'm just using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge 
to blend this in. Guys, this concealer blends in like a dream. And honestly, I want to say the coverage is there. Like, this is a really good concealer. Like, holy cow. Most, like, thick, full-coverage concealers, like, it takes a while to get it blend in. And sometimes you're, like, blending it down to your elbows. Like, no. Like, this literally melts into the skin. And just, like... I'm shook. What? Okay, wet and wild. You know, I feel like when they first came out with their like hydrating um, foundation and primer and stuff, like, you know, they made they made a uh, present, you know, but then it's like, okay, now what? Wet and wild, like we're waiting and you know, not much happened really throughout the year um, of 2020. And then 2021 came and they are like, hey, we're back and uh, <laughs> be prepared my complexion right now so it's like even if this is not full coverage if you need a little bit more coverage in certain areas get this combo because like oh my god this is amazing i will update this the description box below with how this stayed throughout the day um because i do want to get this video uploaded today um but so far so good all right so to set my face i'm just going to use the wet and wild photo focus powder this is a really good powder this isn't new though so i'm going to quickly do this as well as i am going to add some blush and highlight i'm not really feeling bronzer today um i know i usually wear bronzer all the time but not really feeling it today so i'm just going to go in with some wet and wild blush and highlight this is not new so i will do this off camera and be right back all right, so I have my blush, highlights, and um, brow on. They did have a new brow pencil in this collection, but it was just like your typical sharpening brow pencil. So I wasn't really interested in it, so I didn't purchase it, but I did purchase another brow product that they did come out with um, with this collection. Um, so for brows right now, just to fill them in, I just used, finished up actually, my e.l.f. Um, like thin, precise, eyebrow pencil so this is completely done and then because it finished up on me I had to go in with with my hourglass um, eyebrow pencil because that's the only other thin one I have right now so that's what I did with my brows um, so to set my brows I'm gonna go in with the brow obsessive brow gel and this is super cute the packaging is super cute and this is just in the shade brown um, so we are gonna test this out so this is what it looks like it's super cute so not bad um, I do like my brow gels to just be a little bit smaller but it's not the worst that I've seen for sure and it seems like pretty it's hard to see with all the light shining um so let's just see Ooh, feels really wet when you put it on your brow so yeah a lot of product does come off so just be careful that you don't get a little too heavy handed with it. But as you can see, like, I feel like it really added like some fluff. Like, oh my God, look at that. This is without it. And this is like with it. Do you see that? Light gel wax formula brushes on natural looking fullness and definition. Soft, flexible hold that won't flake or stiffen. Hmm. Well, I like it. Like I said, it's not the worst brush-wise. Like, you know, my brows are pretty thin at the moment. I just got them done. So, you know, they're, and it's not going like outside the brow. I like this. Another win. All right, so for eyes, we are going to um, use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow um, palette and this does have five eyeshadows our company's now just coming for Natasha Denona um, I just saw like a sneak peek from Colourpop of their like five pan eyeshadow palettes that look almost identical to the Natasha Denona um, little five pan eyeshadow palette and now this and I'm just like 
What's happening here? What's happening here? So this palette is Walking on Eggshells. So this is one of their traditional palettes. They did have a few different options, like color-wise, and they did have bigger palettes as well. So I believe they had 10 pan palettes and five pan palettes. I got this palette because it is a palette I do really enjoy from them. I do love the Walking on Eggshells. Um, and now they added just another shade as well. So originally it was just these two shades here and then this shade was a little bit more shimmery than what it is now but it was like a cream highlight shade then they added the transition shade in their newer one um in their quads and now they added like a darker brown shade so they are like basically expanding that i just think it looks super cute i would have to compare but even the brown and the pink in this um palette does look a little bit less shimmery as well than the original so the first shade I'm going to use is the shade right here. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. This transition shade is not the most pigmented. Like, I feel like it's barely showing up. So yeah, so so far this shade is not my favorite. It's like not really showing up, which I'm not sure... The transition shade in the second palette that they came out with on Walking on Eggshells, I'm not sure if that one's a little bit more pigmented, but I hardly see anything. I'm just, yeah, it's like a very, very light. So the reason I'm probably not seeing anything is because it's basically my skin tone. So that's like a little sad, but I mean, it's okay. We're just going to keep on moving on. So next, I'm just going to actually go into this darker shade right here. Let's just see where things go. I don't want it too deep. Just a little definition there. There's like a truck outside, guys, so I'm sorry if you hear that, as well as my dog notices it as well, so she's kind of letting them know what's up. I don't know why. It just looks very dry, but when I feel my eyelids, and before I added my makeup, like I didn't notice my eyelids being dry, um, and when I feel them, like they don't feel dry and rough, so but they look, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, I don't think you can, but, and it's just not blending very well either, so, it's just like very patchy, do you see that? I'm just gonna get like a stiffer brush, just to see if I can blend that better. Yeah, it's like, Okay, so that's as good as it's going to get. I did add a little bit more on this side than I did this side. So I'm just going to kind of try to even that out. I'm just going to dip into the shade right here, which is more of that bronzy shade. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for eyes for the top. So for highlight, I'm just going to use the shade right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the inner corner. And then I'm just going to add some to my brow bone. And then I'm just going to dip into the shade um, with a little bit of that dark brown. And just kind of go under the lash. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for the eyes. Again, I don't know how the rest are, but... This one is not my favorite. Um, I kind of still like the original better. Again, I haven't tried the second one that they came out with that has the transition shade um, included, but this one, pass. So we have two new things left in this collection. So this is the new mascara. I haven't been opening new mascaras in a while because I have a few, but I'm going to be decluttering some sadly because they're just super old. Like I'm about to get a sty if I continue to use them. So I need to declutter them whether they're empty or not. Um, I know usually it's really hard to empty a mascara because you should be um, switching it out every like six months. It just makes me sad to waste product. This is their Big Poopa Mascara, um, and the packaging is super cute. It is like a chubbier mascara, but doesn't it look super, super chic? Um, and then it has like the little crown on top. Um, so this is basically a volumizing mascara. Bigger is better. Um, it's what they're saying. A 500 plus crimped bristles catch every lash. Um, and it's supposed to basically give you tons, a tons of volume. 
Bye Bye Limp Lashes. Okay, so this is in Black is Black. Um, and I must say that the before and after, you can tell she's wearing false lashes there, so. Boss advertisement wet and wild. I mean, I could be wrong. They did come out with a um, lash curler as well. That was part of their um, new line. And they came out with a clear brow gel as well. They came out with a color and a clear. So if you don't like a colored brow gel, they have options. So let's test this out. I'm usually not a huge big fan of wet and wild mascaras. Okay, so that's not bad. I had mascaras from Wet n Wild do absolutely nothing for my lashes. And like, look at the difference between no mascara and just like one coat. Like that is actually pretty, not only volumizing, but pretty lengthening as well. I'm gonna add a second coat then and we will see what we're looking at. Right, guys so this is two coats on each eye i so far like this mascara again i will add in the description box like if it flaked or anything on me but like i feel like it's not just volumizing but it's super lengthening and i mean i feel like it's black enough as well as it's very separating as well which is kind of weird so it's not like clumpy or anything and it is very lifting so this is a mascara that i feel like you guys should try if you are looking for a good affordable mascara um again i will go ahead and update you guys in the description box after i upload um so stay tuned for the end of the day but not bad i don't trust that big wand though for my lower lashes so i'm just going to use another mascara from wet and wild and it's their mega slim skinny mascara i don't know when this mascara came out i bought it at five below a while ago like i would say about maybe a couple months ago um it's not my favorite i still like my maybelline um teeny tiny lash mascara um well it's a little little skinny wand this one here you have to like just really um build it up and then sometimes it takes a while the last new thing we have is the wet and wild cloud pout marshmallow lip mousse so they had a few shades but of course i had to get the nude um so this one's in the shade flutter nutter i'm not gonna put on a lip liner we're just gonna go right in for it but this is the applicator This smells really good, guys. Just saying. Hey, hey. Guys, just look how, like, just, like, just soft my lips look right now. Like, it smells, has, like, a sweet smell to it, but oh my god. So, I think... It's definitely like a, I wouldn't say it's sheer, but you do have to build it up. Like I had to do two layers just to get like this payoff, but I think it's soft, it's subtle, it's really nice. So I think it pairs really nicely with the like no makeup makeup look type of, you know, makeup because it's just so subtle and just makes your lips so soft. And my lips feel extremely moisturized and like, you can definitely tell it's like a moussey liquid lip like it's not like a you know matte or anything i love this and i really love a lot of their like lip products so i wasn't doubting them but mm, 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 mm. i'm just gonna use the seal the deal flower setting spray all right this is the final look
then final thoughts. So final thoughts. Um, I'm sure you already know, but these skin complexion products are bomb. Again, I cannot say that it lasts forever. I will let you know, but as of right now, I really, really, really do like both of these products. Both of these products are really, really good. I love the brow product as well. It just makes your brows look super fluffy. Mascara is a total win. You can see how the lashes are fluffy and long. Um, and the liquid lip is really good as well. It's not a matte liquid lip, so it's not gonna stay super, super long. It's probably gonna come off on your mask. You're going to have to reapply it when you eat or kiss or do any of that stuff. Um, but it's just so soft and so like romantic looking. I love it. Um, the only thing, the only thing that I was not a fan of, which I'm pretty sure you already knew, is the palette from Wet n Wild, the Walking on Eggshells. I do not know how the other palettes are, but this one was just not my favorite. Um, this shade barely showed up on my skin tone, so if you're more fair than me, then you'll probably enjoy it a little bit more. Um, these shades here, I think, are kind of similar, maybe a little less pigmented than their original. Um, and then this shade right here, which is very patchy for some reason. So I don't know why. I mean, of course we made it work, but it's just not my favorite and I would just pass on that. But everything else was fantastic. So congratulations, Wet n Wild, on your 2021 collection. It is popping. All right, guys, please do not forget to like, subscribe, hit that little notification button right down there see you let's just be part of the family okay i see you watching my videos but not subscribing right there just right there it's for free no one's charging you nothing okay i appreciate the support and until next time bye guys